Hello. Uh, note to self: I've got to keep. St I've got to stop saying um. I say in my posts, I say um a lot. So um, <laughs> there we go. Um, twice I've said it. I've got to stop saying it. So just to let you know, I watched the Calculat Cabby again today, and he done a rundown of things from the cab that he used to find irritate, or he does find irritating. But he didn't say people cutting their nails. Now I find it, when you hear a nail clipper going, I find it really irritating. Um, I've also got um, an email this week, which is Jack and Nori Cabby, but Cabby would be IE. Uh, that would be Jack and Nori, C A B B I E, at gmail.com. He wants to know if I'm in, um, here we go, saying them again. A tracksuit top fashion show. Well, I've put enough on for him today. I like a tracksuit top. One of the things that used to make me nervous when I did the knowledge was when you used to used to get Mr. Thomas, and he was a nice chap, Mr. Thomas. But he used to have his book. He used to have the big map on an angle, and he used to have the, the, his his glasses on the end of his nose. And you'd be calling away and he'd go. <laughs> so he, used to, he used to make me shit me pants. Bag of nerves when I got Mr. Thomas. Um, he's helping me out when he's teaching me. So the story today, I'm telling you one story today because I'm bored. I was driving towards the bank junction pre-2016 when our our genius um, regulator stopped us driving through uh, Bank Junction and a young lad put his hand out and in a very nervous voice he said uh, I'm 17 and uh, I come from Birmingham we're a military competition and he was talking really quick he was like also a commentator and uh, he said I've never been to London and they've given me two days off so I've come to see what London's like okay mate where do you want to go well What's um, Soho like? I said, well, if you've never been there, you're probably going to have a good night in Soho. Okay. Um, we drive down Old Compton Street. He says to me, what's that place like? I said, I don't know. What's that place there like? I said, I haven't got a clue, mate. What can you recommend? Well, nothing, mate. I'm not gay. Now the pennies dropped, this young boy's gay. So I said, look mate, I'll tell you what I'll do. If I drop you at the Freedom Bar, where there's men and women, I thought to myself, you know what, maybe the women, he's only a young boy trying to find his way in life, and um, maybe the women there will mother him a little bit, keep him safe. So we pull up outside the Freedom Bar, and he's fumbling about for his money to pay for his fare. And uh, he blurts out, Do you want to come in for a drink with me? <laughs> so, so, so um, when I've actually eventually stopped laughing, he's paid his money and gone in. And now I got home that night, probably about three o'clock in the morning, something like that. And um, my missus went, What's up? I said, A young bloke asked me out the night. She said, Was he handsome? I said, How do I know? She went to me, you've still got it, you know. And about two or three days after that, I got in about four o'clock in the morning. She went to me, you've been out with your boyfriend again, haven't you? <laughs> the stick I get from this woman. That's all, I'll be back.